So, a 12 bar blues on a ukulele. Like we talked about, it's uh, just the 1, 4, 5 chords in a certain order. Okay, um, so one of the uh, first people to move from the blues, move from rhythm and blues, that type of music, into what we now consider to be rock and roll, um, pop music, really, uh, which just means popular music, in the 50s was a guy named Chuck Berry and a very famous guitar player, a famous singer, songwriter, performer, the whole thing. Uh, one of the fathers of rock and roll, really. And uh, his biggest, most famous song was Johnny Be Good. It was in, uh, it's been in a ton of movies. Uh, there's been movies called Johnny Be Good not at all about the song or Chuck Berry or even any sort of music. I think uh, one of them was in the 80s maybe. It was like a basketball player, a kid that was a basketball player or something. Um, and you know, just a, a made up movie, not nothing real or anything. But at any rate, it's a very famous song. So, we're going to take a look at that, okay? And like I explained in uh, the other video, uh, the 12 bar blues in its most basic form is just a one chord for four measures or four bars, the four chord for two, and then the one chord again for two, which makes up another four. So if you're keeping count, we're up to eight. Then the five chord for two measures, and then the one chord for two more measures, which 8 plus 4 is now 12. So we are up to the 12 bars, and then it just keeps repeating. So Johnny Be Good by Chuck Berry is that, that very basic 12 bar blues form. And uh, it is actually in the key of A sharp or B flat. So the 1, 4, 5 ends up being um, the A is the one chord and so it actually ends up being A sharp and then uh, the next chord the four chord would be D sharp and then the next chord the E uh, E sharp or F uh, so actually it should be B flat E flat and F should be the chords but nonetheless, we're not going to do it in the key that Chuck Berry recorded it in. Although he's a guitar player, the uh, piano player in his band did a lot of the music writing and things like that. My understanding. I haven't researched it a lot. But, uh, so a lot of the songs would be in like B flat which is a good key for a piano player. Uh, this piano player especially seemed to like uh, B flat, so a lot of the songs are in B flat. We're gonna do it in the key of A. There's been so many people that have done covers of Johnny B. Good. Uh, one guy, Johnny Winter, um, is one of my favorite guitar players. He's amazing. Uh, he did, uh, he used to play it live all the time and uh, I believe did a studio recording of it too. But anyway, uh, I believe he would usually play it in A. It's just a much more guitar friendly key. So ukulele, also A is a, a much better key for us. So Johnny Be Good is just very simply, the one chord is A, which is that. <laughs> the one chord is A, which is that. Uh, the, I was just going to say what the A chord is, but at this point, I hope you should know what an, you should remember an A chord. Uh, an A chord, then the D is the four chord. E is the five chord. And then back to one. So simple, right? 
So Johnny B. Good is A, 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 in all of these are one measure long four beats. A, 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 D, D, A, A, E, E, A, A. And then start over again. So that is what we have. So it's really simple. A. Why did I play a D again? A. A. I know why, because I'm thinking of guitar. I keep talking about guitar and guitar friendly and all that, and that's an A on a guitar. Okay, so A on a ukulele. So A, 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 D, D, A, A. Then E, I like this E. Normally I like the other way to play it, but E, E. And then you just repeat that. So that's the whole song. Verses, choruses, guitar solo, intro, everything is just that form. And uh, the beginning of the song starts the Chuck Berry version, in most versions, because it's a really cool little guitar intro. Uh, starts with... Something like that. Uh, it starts with a little guitar piece. When you listen to it, you'll hear it. Yeah. And that's four measures long, four bars long. And that actually takes place of the first four in the 12 bar blues, which is A. So the one chord for the first four. So then it goes to D, because now we're on sort of the fifth bar, the second line, the way I think of it. I always think of it as one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So then it goes to D, A. Okay, but again, when you listen to it. So the 12 bar blues, the whole song is just, um, there, and I'll play it and you can play a line. So we'll start with the A. So one, two, three, four. starts over again, that A that I just went A, that's where it would start all over again. So that's Johnny Be Good. Very simple and a very cool, uh, very cool song and lots of great covers. Um, another favorite guitarist of mine uh, did uh, Johnny Be Good. I'm trying to think what album, I don't know, uh, but Frank Marino, uh, he used to do it uh, live like all the time. I think he did a studio recording of it too, but live all the time. And uh, there's a movie, Back to the Future, and there's a scene in it where the actor, Michael J. Fox, is playing Johnny B. Good at like a high school dance, and it's a really funny scene. Uh, so I'm sure you can find that on YouTube if you wanted to uh, watch that, but it's pretty funny. It's silly. Uh, but anyway, Johnny Be Good, it's a great tune, uh, a great introduction to the 12 bar blues form and all of that. And there we are. So enjoy. That was easy. <laughs>